it's obviously an exciting, crazy time for you in your life. Uh, congratulations uh, to, on the Columbus Blue Jackets job. Uh, what excites you or intrigues you the most about this club? Obviously, they're going through some rebuilding, some lot really good young players, but they, they really need some, a little bit of a culture change there too, it seems like. Uh, just what's your what intrigues you the most about this opportunity? Yeah, I think you you nailed a lot of them right there, Joe. Is that uh, they uh, certainly the franchise hasn't a good foundation, right? Um, but we all know you can get into all the stuff that's gone on the last couple of years with Columbus and the coaching changes and uh, and and kind of the turmoil that's happened. And um, just speaking with the players, uh, obviously I've had a chance to speak with almost every player. A couple are in Europe that I didn't. I haven't spoke to yet, but they, they want some stability. They want some, uh, you know, uh, uh, foundation or to build on the foundation and the structure and all that. I don't use the, the, the word culture a lot. I think it gets overused, but we do want to kind of change the atmosphere in that dressing room. Um, I, we believe that there is a, a very well-rounded group there. Yes. People talk about they're young and, we're young and skilled and all that kind of stuff. And, but we've got some, some veteran guys in there that, uh, that are, you know, play a two way game that have bite, that have skill, um, veteran guys. And, and I think we've got a nice mix of, of everything. Some offense, uh, some guys that, um, you know, play defense and, and, uh, you know, maybe our depth, um, needs to be strengthened, but you're right. I, I it's not unlike, when we came into Minnesota, um, you know, the, uh, there wasn't a lot of, uh, you know, uh, pieces or, you know, a lot of, uh, excitement about different, but we were able to build, um, an atmosphere in there, a team first mentality. I do believe that's one of my, my strengths is, uh, is, is to bring a group together, um, and play hard each and every night, uh, for each other. And that's what I'm. Uh, I'm excited about with uh, with our new coaching staff to get after it and and create that atmosphere in that room that allows the guys to go out and play hard for each other, and uh, and hopefully win hockey games. What I've always loved about you, Dean, is how honest you are. Uh, you may not give all the answers to us in the media, but at least you're you tell how you feel. And I love in your opening press conference in Columbus how you're asked about the opening night against Minnesota, and you're like, of course it means something. And I just wanted to get your take on what does it what it does it mean to you? What will that emotions be like going back and um, that first game? Yeah, yeah, Joe. There, there'll be tons of emotions, obviously. Like I, and again, I and I've said this several times, but I'm like, like people are like, oh, it's just another game. That's bull. It's not just another game. I mean, the Minnesota Wild fired me in November. There's, you know, that. There's um, all the emotions of, of the, the staff and, and the fans and, and, and you guys and, and all the, the times that I've walked through in that tunnel and went, uh, and, and went into that dressing room. There's a lot of emotions that are going to be stirred up. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting. Now, I always, do I want to win that hockey game more than I want to win the 10th game of the season or the, or the 60th game of the season? No, I want to win each, each game equally. <laughs> as passionate about uh, about getting the victory but but yeah there's going to be emotions it's going to be exciting um and uh, i'm i'm really looking forward to it i talked to other coaches who go into another job after having the first head coaching job and they say how much they learned and how much they took from it and how hey i'll do something different next time right um you've had some time some several months before you took over this job probably to decompress and think about things like now that you've had that experience to look back, like what kind of things that you learned from your first one that can kind of help you in this one in terms of might things that might do differently or things you might have, you know, taken from that? Yeah, no, I there's so many of probably like I, I'm not gonna go through a list of them, but I mm -hmm. there's in, in all areas, in structure areas, um systematically as far as how um uh, we're gonna play. <clears throat> um I've had an opportunity to obviously sit and watch um, hockey throughout the the, the year um, <clears throat> and the playoffs. I had an opportunity to go to to Prague and and the World Championships uh, and be an assistant coach at Team Canada and pick the brain of the other coaches um, systematically and how they um, deal with players, how their presentations are before the games and how the post game 
uh, interviews are. I'm able to sit in the room and watch those. And, and uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I should have did this instead of did that during a press conference, uh, um, you know, in the past or, or maybe the, the system in the neutral zone. Um, <clears throat> I like that better than what we did in, in, in Minnesota. So we were going to tweak it. Um, so, yeah, I think going through that situation, um, being a head coach in the National Hockey League is, is, uh, there's a lot to do that there's, uh, there's a lot of different, um, balls in the air that you have to look after. Um, so, but I know what they are now, right? I know how to handle them. I've, I've been through that so I can draw on those experiences moving forward. So, 100%. Um, I, I do understand now after getting fired. Um, I've been fired before, but I haven't been fired in the National Hockey League as a head coach. Now I have. Now I get that opportunity. I'm, uh, I, I truly believe I'm a better coach now than I was um, prior to getting fired with the Minnesota Wild. Mm-hmm.